Hello everybody. Sorry it's been a quite a while. Um, a month or two maybe? Um, since my last unboxing video. Um, with the holidays and going back and forth it was kind of rough. Um, plus with the, I really do need to invest in some uh, better lighting material. Um, because the, the weather's been kind of crazy back and forth. Um, so, um, anyways, I'm home, just kind of like doing, trying to switch things around and, and have like a little bit different setup. Um, but hopefully I'll have like a standard setup to where I can do more videos, um, more often. Um, anyways, I really wanted to go ahead and do this one because, let's see right there. It is Nina Nakano, the last of the Quintuplet sisters. Um, she's 1,600. So, um, yeah, I didn't say much about um, the Miku that I got. The re release did have some flaws um, that I didn't notice until after I got after I did the video, except for the one um, right there in front of her bank. So, I'm supposed to be getting a. a uh, um, <clears throat> A replacement for the front end of the back because uh, the back had um, some noticeable like um, paint chips um, spots missing so yeah definitely no replacement for that um, I'm hoping better for Nino because Nino is um, one of my favorite quints so um, and she does come with two hair pieces so I'm going to be putting one of them in one of these kimonos um, either the the blue purplish looking one or the um, pink and purple. Um, I think the blue purplish one will probably match her better, um, but I guess we'll see when I get her all out. Um, anyways, without further ado, let's get things started. So like before, I just want to go over the box design. Um, we've got the colored um, flower petals on the front and the top and bottom. And then the sides have the pretty pastel um, looking purple. I actually really do like this color. It's really pretty. Um, and it shows off the different um, poses that you can do with Nina. Um, so we've seen them all before. We knew what to expect. So let's go ahead and open her up. So upon opening the blister pack with that cord, um, you will see that she has Here's the main body um, with her default face. Um, she has um, kind of an annoyed face, annoyed and embarrassed and a uh, really embarrassed face, I guess. Um, she has the one, her arms where she can cross her arms, a couple different arms, and of course her cell phone. Um, she doesn't come with much, but she does come with an extra hair piece, so that's that was a big main draw for mine because I, I prefer buying her um, one thing because I do like having um, the possibility of having an extra Nendroid because I do end up uh, getting a lot of the Nendroid more bodies. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead. I'll take her out of all the plastic and we'll get her set up in a couple of poses. So here is her first pose. Um, something I noticed about the hair, um, that I'm surprised they made this decision, like all of this is a mold. Um, there's not, um, there's not any hinges, it can't separate, it's all one solid piece. Um, which kind of surprised me because most of the time, this particular hairstyle, they normally make hinges, um, and have them capable of moving and that way you can pose, um, it a little bit better but it probably was a um a money choice um from my opinion um probably because um it would have cost more um to do them with joints um i mean i'm not i'm actually not upset with it um it does make it look like it has less body in the hair um but in this case i'm not like I'm not upset about it, um, and I understand. Um, I have her posed with her phone, which has the bunny ears, which also could be 
um, a reference to her birth order because she was the second one. Uh, she's the second Quint. Um, one thing I noticed too is that they're doing, they did her, with her the same as they have done all of them and have done like the little split in the arm. Um, to me, I feel like because that's the way they wanted to go, I think it would have been better for them to have, um, to have actually used season, season two's um, color palette and had done her um, jacket and her hair bows in black as it shows in season two, which is odd that they do the extra hair piece, which is a season two thing, um, but they do it in the season one color scheme. Um, I mean, I still like it and I understand that they tried to give them um, a little bit more color or give her a little bit more color um, as this was her color um, palette in season one um, and purple is her um, character color. As you can see, I found uh, the base that I bought specifically for her. Um, but at the same time, I think the black would have done great hiding, um, these, these lines and gaps. Um, but anyway, my own personal opinion, but this is the, I thought this was the easiest pose, um, as far as like what it shows on the box to do. Um, I'm really, I think for her default body, I really want to use the, um, the short hair and use the longer hair on the Nendroid more body so um, I'm probably going to be switching over to her short hair to do the next couple poses so I'll be back in a second avoid her severed head over here <laughs> um, but I do I mean especially after seeing season two I do kind of prefer the shorter um, shorter hair piece um, I think it's easier to manage I guess you could say and pose um, where you're not having to get through so much hair. Um, and just to let you know, they do have two full set hair pieces. I know somebody online was concerned and asking if it was just the back hair that you got an extra of. And I was like, uh, I hope not. Cause then that would be, that would kind of be horrible that you would pay that much extra. Cause I think she was like, um, she was a little over 10,000 yen more. I think she was almost like 15,000 yen more than the rest of the, uh, um, well, 1,500 yen, not 15,000. Um, she went $150 more, um, maybe like 15 bucks more, um, than the, uh, than the other girls. Um, but this is actually cuter than what I expected, um, the faceplate, because, um, upon seeing the initial plate, the initial faceplates, um, I thought they were kind of like lacking a little bit. And I still think they are, um, especially since Nino is a very um, layered character. Like, does have a tendency to um, show a little bit more emotion. Um, whereas I feel like all three of these um, faceplates have a similar um, emotional pattern. Like, she's kind of pouty blushy there where she's straight up embarrassed blushy here and this is like kind of like irritated but shy blushy um so i mean i feel like it would have been better to show a little bit more range i mean her character again with the severed head um <laughs> but anyway this is um her pose with short hair um with the um with the two um with the peace sign fingers um signifying her um being the second oldest um of the quints um it showed it on the box with her long hair but i kind of wanted to show it with a short hair and a different faceplate just to have a little bit of difference um next i'm going to um try it out with the folded arms hopefully um it won't end up damaging it to where um, it's too wide for the other arms to go back in, um, but we'll see. And I'll also put the um, the other hair, go ahead and try to put the other hair on the Nendra more um, kimono. So be back in a second. 
Okay, so that took a little bit longer than expected. Um, something I figured out while I was um, playing around with them both. Um, the little tendrils that she has, or the little quote-unquote butterfly um, antennas she has on her ears are actually like um, either a soft plastic or like kind of like some, I think it's a soft plastic. I was about to say or some kind of rubber material because they they can bend so I was really happy about that because if not I feel like they would break super easy now with her long hair since the um, since the kimono is lower as far as the peg is concerned it was kind of hard to kind of finagle it um, that's the best I could do and she's still tilting her head downward um, I'll probably see if I can find um, some other kind of arm that might would um, help remedy that situation but I think this will do as far as that's concerned um, but it's really pretty um, you probably can't see it as well in this light um, but it's kind of like an indigo colored um, but I thought out of the ones that I had that that was the best one to fit her. I really actually do like this pose with that face. Um, I feel like that's very Nino. Um, and I love the arms. Now just to let you know, these arms are not separated. It's one piece. Do not try to separate them. There's a line there, but they are, they are molded together. So don't sit here and try to par them, um, pull them apart and then put them back in because there's a lot of arm, cross arms that that Good Smile has manufactured that are that way, but these are not one of them. Um, so I thought I'd give y'all a heads up on that. Um, thus far, I really do think that she probably is my second favorite of the um, quintuplets, even though I still give a negative mark on the faceplates. But the faceplates are actually better than I initially thought, at least this one. I really do like that one. Um, but anyways, I would say that, that they go in order of the ones I actually like. <laughs> At least the top two. Like, I think, um, I still think Itsuki is, um, the best. Um, um, as far as, like, it showing off her personality, about having, um, enough, um, accessories and stuff because Nino doesn't really come with a whole lot of accessories because her hair I guess is considered an accessory um but if you collect Nendroids you more than likely will find you an accessory that goes along with her um but yeah I mean I hope y'all enjoy this video I hope you uh um enjoy the journey that is uh quintessential quintuplets um, I may do a video in the future, um, just like comparing them all together, maybe like a short one. Um, I just, I still had, I had to pack, um, Miku back up, so I just haven't unpacked her, and plus I might wait until I get the, uh, um, the extra, the, uh, not the extra hairpiece, but the replacement hairpiece, um, before doing that video. Um, but yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, give me a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Have a great one.